aren't Teslas expensive? How long will the batteries last? Isn't autopilot dangerous? I thought Tesla is going bankrupt. How will you charge it? I've got to debunk some myths. Charging a Tesla is simple and super convenient. You can charge anywhere from a simple 110 volt outlet found in your house to a 220 volt outlet, which can be installed or using any one of thousands of Tesla superchargers across the globe. Now these Tesla superchargers are conveniently located and can be found on many road trip routes and on major highways. This allows you to charge anywhere from 300 to 500 and in some cases up to a thousand miles per hour, allowing you to quickly charge and get back on your route. Now, if we compare the price of gas versus electricity, let's say the average price of gas today in the United States is $2.73. The average price of electricity is about 13 cents. If we average a 12 gallon tank compared to a long range Model 3 battery size of 75 kilowatt, you would be spending about $32.73 in gas and $9 in electricity. So clearly, there is a huge advantage and a huge cost savings using electricity over gas. In May of 2019, the average price of a new car purchased in the United States climbed to $36,718, with interest rates hovering around 6%. This was according to automotive information site Edmunds.com. Now, the next myth is regarding cost. Many people think Teslas are expensive. And that's just simply not true. The Tesla Model 3 actually starts at $35,000 for a 220 mile range. There are options up from that at $39,000 for 250 mile range and $48,000 for a 322 mile range. Another topic people will usually bring up is regarding maintenance. What's the maintenance on an electric car cost? Well, it's very simple actually. There is no maintenance. There's no oil to be changed. There's no engine to be tuned up. There's really windshield wiper fluid and rotating your tires. That's right, even your brakes don't need to be changed for a very long time and that's due to regenerative braking. Electric cars use regenerative braking which actually does not wear down the brake pads thus causing your brakes to last upwards of 100,000 miles. Another common myth is that electric cars don't have range. According to AAA, the average motorist drives 29.2 miles a day. Now, Tesla has vehicles ranging anywhere from 250 mile range all the way up to 373 miles. This means you never have a problem on your daily commute. And the advantage here is you start every day with a full charge because you have the convenience of charging at home. Now, another common misconception is battery degradation. Because it's a rechargeable battery, does it degrade over time? Well, according to this article from Tesserati, it shows that Model S and X over the course of 250,000 kilometers or 150,000 miles really saw less than a 10% battery degradation over that length of time. So you can feel comfortable that your Tesla's battery is going to last a very long time. Now, some may say electric cars are slow. Well, quite the contrary. Do these reactions look like the car is slow? Ready. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Another misconception is that autopilot is dangerous. Tesla's cameras and its autonomous hardware are always aware and watching its surroundings. In the third quarter, Tesla registered one accident for every 4.34 million miles driven in which drivers had autopilot engaged. 
By comparison, the NHTSA's most recent data shows that in the United States, there is an automobile crash every 498,000 miles. So that just clearly shows you how much safer it is to be driving with autopilot. Now, some may say Teslas are not safe, and that's just not true. Teslas have consistently won five out of five stars in the NHTSA, and that's mainly due to their impact protection, their rigid structure, and their low center of gravity. The Tesla Model 3 has earned a five out of five stars in every category and every subcategory in the NHTSA, the National Highway of Traffic and Safety Administration, as well as the European New Car Assessment Program. Now, some may say Tesla is going bankrupt. Quite contrary to what's passed along, this is quite wrong. A company should be evaluated with how they're doing now and what the future holds. For Tesla, Q3 2019 numbers that were just released, Tesla reported $383 million increase in their cash and cash equivalents balance to $5.3 billion. Also, $371 million in operating cash flow. And regarding the future, we have Model Y crossover that's launching mid-2020. We also have the Cybertruck that will be entering production in about two years. We have the Semi that is uh, to be released, as well as the Tesla Roadster. Also, full self-driving is expected to be feature complete by the end of 2019 to begin testing to early access program users, which just shows you that 2020 has a lot of excitement surrounding Tesla, who is already doing well. The sky is the limit. Now, what are you waiting for? Go get yourself the best, cleanest, safest, and most fun vehicle in the market today. Buy a Tesla and make sure you use a referral code so that you can enjoy some free supercharging miles from a friend or family member. If you don't have one, feel free to use mine. I'll include it in the top of the description. And if you know somebody that could benefit from watching this video to learn more about Tesla vehicles, share this video with them. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.